the new Clover or Open Core, uh, the power management now from um, Lilu, uh, mostly using the plug SSDT dash plug dot AML. But to me, um, to make sure that if it sleep wakes and everything do uh, perform just like the Windows, uh, the best I still see is using the SSD TPR generation SH from Pike Alpha. I'm using this one right now for my uh, Elite book, and you can see right here it's working very nicely, and the sleep wakes on this one is perfect just like the uh, windows okay so how do you get the uh, PR generation to work so just go to the website and follow exactly as so first you open the terminal and then you do the curl copy this whole thing alternate C alternate B you need to change mod you do the same thing again in this window here you unzip it so you do all of this all four of this I don't remove it, I just leave it there. Okay, so you do these three. Okay, follow these three. And then all you need to do is to copy this. So, what you want to do is just do the SH. So, I don't need to open the SSDT. So, now if we go into the library and you go into SSDT PR Gen you will see the SSDT.AML so if you open this up even though it shows 21.5 Mac OS but this is 15.5 this i7 6600U correctly at 2.6 gigahertz but the maximum turbo right here is 34 so and when you really execute something it will go to 34 see that so that means working so what do you do with this so what I do I rename this one this is pro 132 so 132 so this is instead of using the plug I'm going to use this so now if I mount my EFI folder so I look my EFI folder inside the EFI folder so this one I use is open core so it doesn't matter if I use Clover or Open Core. The ACPI, I will copy this and I put in here in the ACPI. So I already have it already, so I don't need to uh, to do it. So if I open the Open Core ACPI, right? SSDT 132, the same as that one, and I will have it running. But with Open Core, I do have to list it in the ACPI. So I have to add this my patch DSDT is my PNLF for the backlight. So I put this one right here. So I have to put it in there. So this one will ensure it's working. Now, on this particular laptop, I actually put all of my SSDT original from Clover extraction and I put them all in here 
But in order to do this, you have to make sure these are compiled without any errors. So it's my ACPI. So you have to disassemble it and compile. So when you disassemble correctly, you will be able to compile it, put them all in the ACPI. And this one will give you a perfect sleep, wakes, everything. I know there's plug and all of these new stuff, but the old fashioned way is still the best one. Try it first before you try something else.